Good evening, everyone. I'm your consultant, Sergey, and tonight we are going to spend a couple hours talking about reading. I'm glad that so many people found some time at this late hour to learn something in English. That shows you perseverance. Good evening, everyone. It shows that you are on the ball. That means that you know what you want to do and you have a clear goal. And obviously, you're very committed to learning English. So my compliments to everyone who's uh, joining us tonight. And uh, from some people, I think from uh, Frank, we found out that uh, uh, Taiwan won Australia by 5 to 0. So congratulations to Taiwan team. And I hope that will bring you more victories in the future. And this week, I think you're playing Korea. So good luck on that. Now, last week, if you remember, maybe some of you uh, participated in my webinar on writing. Uh, today, I would like to talk to you about reading. And uh, the key word for tonight's webinar is learn to enjoy reading. So there are four words, actually. Now, enjoying reading in English, okay, uh, that's what we are going to do and talk about tonight. Now, my first question is, uh, why do people read in general? Now, let's take a look at the answers here, and I want you to think for a second or two and give me your answer. So here, one, people read for pleasure. That means that people like to read. Uh, another one, to get information, to learn, to kill time, all of the above. Okay, let's see. All right, I can see that lots of people are choosing five. Some people choosing two and three. Some people choose one. Is anybody choosing? Okay, Carol chose four. But uh, most of the answers are five. Well, okay, I would probably join you in that answer. I read personally for all of the above. All right, and people sort of agree with me here. Very good. Now, let's take a look at the next question. Do you enjoy reading in English? Now, let's choose one or two here. Yes or no? All right, lots of people, yes. No, no, no. We have, we have no's and we have yeses. Okay, now let's concentrate on or focus on the negative part of the answer for a while and see why people do not like read, uh, read in English. Now, let's take a look here. Possible reasons why people do not enjoy reading are, number one is too many unknown words. Number two, takes too much time to finish a book. Number three, difficult to find what I really want to read. Number four, names are too difficult to remember, like people's names or places' names. And number five is too much of a cultural background. It means that you have too much of a culture and you can't understand what people are talking about. All right, Sander chose everything. One, two, three, four, five. Alan chose all of the above. All right, one and five. Well, in most of the answers, I can see that people chose, most of the people chose one. Too many unknown words. And sometimes people use the word vocabulary. Vocabulary. Too much of unknown vocabulary, right? There are too many words in English, and uh, it's, it's, it's impossible to know every word. Now, today we're going to uh, concentrate on the negative part of reading, and that is too many words, okay? It's sometimes too difficult to understand what people are writing about, and there's so much information in English, and we just can't follow everything. Sometimes when you read an article, because you have so many unknown words or the words you don't know, you just stop reading because it is too difficult or too boring. Now, there are two types of reading. When we talk about reading, there are two ways to read something. Now, let's take a look at these two types. The first one is called intensive. It comes from the word intense, okay? So using an effort, okay, something with a lot of feelings, maybe some kind of a focus. 
Now, take a look at this intensive word. Now, when we read intensively, we try to understand specific details, okay? We try to get specific information, all right? Usually, when, uh, when you read uh, contracts at work or some emails, you try to understand details, what people do, how they do it, and when they're going to do certain things. Now, this is called intensive reading. Now, extensive reading is basically reading fast for getting the main idea. Usually, when we read extensively, we do not stop. Usually, we do not use uh, dictionaries, all right, or we do not ask other people. We just read from the beginning until the end, and we try to imagine a situation we are reading about. 